You know, a security system won't protect you if the guy you pay to install it takes off with your money. This is Joseph. It's really a shame. This is Daniel, the guy Joseph says took him for $2,400. He thinks you're a scam artist. No, 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 no. Are you a scam artist? No. Who are you going to believe? Daniel, the guy who runs a security camera installation business with a bunch of bad reviews, a website you can't even reach, and a horrible standing with the Better Business Bureau. D-plus rating and going down fast. Or do you believe Joseph, the man who says he was ripped off, who happens to be a Catholic priest? Swindlers, thieves, and liars do not enter the kingdom of heaven. This is the story of a holy man and a man with a lot of holes in his story. There's not a lot of people that'll cheat a priest. It just seems pretty low. This is Sacred Heart Byzantine Catholic Church in Livonia. Father Joseph Marquis says they're a small congregation. Well, we're not exactly rolling in the green. So uh, we had a fundraiser. Our uh, ladies of Sacred Heart raised money and they, they got us the money to pay for the CCTV. Uh, mm. cameras. They raised $4,500 and Father Marquis relied upon a parishioner to recommend someone in the security camera business. He's got a family, he's trying to make a living and he's a very nice man and uh, why don't you give him a call? So that's what happened. Father Marquis hired the man recommended, Francesco Daniel Patron of Patron Solutions. He says he paid a $2,000 deposit up front. That was the last he heard for weeks. Finally, after several calls from the priest, Francesco, who goes by Daniel showed up and put in this janky wire. This is what he did. That's all he did. That's it. That's it. Daniel Patron said he needed more money to start installing the cameras, which, by the way, the priest never even saw. He reluctantly wrote him another check for $400. He's a very engaging man, very personable, and very dishonest. Priest Pilferer Patron never returned, so the father called him and left him messages. While it's still time. You better repent. And then... Called again, and he had my number blocked. Scott at Accurate Expediting in Romulus says he got pinched by Patron as well. Daniel put in a security system for the company last year. He did such a good job that we had him come back out to install some key fobs, um, some security key fobs to know when employees were coming and going from the facility. Scott says he called Daniel, and when they could reach him, he always had excuses. There was a bunch of stories, dog ate the homework, but it ultimately ended with no return. Daniel's a dope. This guy could have made a lot more money with you. Oh, absolutely. We've been a, a lifelong customer as long as we were in business. No idea why he just took your money and ran? Scam artist. Hmm. Scam artist. Melanie Ducanall is the CEO and president of the Better Business Bureau. She says Patron Solutions has never replied to several complaints filed with the BBB. We've gotten absolutely no response. Patron Solutions has a web page, but it seems to be as whack as the wire he put in for the church. The company is registered at Daniel Patron's Canton House, where we saw him most afternoons just hanging around, smoking cigarettes, certainly not rushing off to do the jobs he was paid to do by accurate expediting or the Catholic Church. Father Marquis wanted to give Patron one last chance, so we sent Patron this certified letter. After weeks of broken assurances, you are urged to refund the entire amount of $2,400 originally issued to you by Sacred Heart Byzantine Church for CCTV installation in our church that you never performed. The letter states he has until August 31st to pay up or a formal police report will be filed with the Livonia Police Department the following day. And Father Marquis did file a police report. Livonia Police are investigating. My cameraman was actually watching Daniel when he got the certified letter delivered. Poor Danny looked shocked. A little bit later, Daniel leaves the house. I mean... Patron, Patron Solutions, Solutions headquarters. headquarters. And heads to a gas station. Patron comes out holding a lottery ticket, but this is not his lucky day. Hey there, Daniel. Rob Waltrick for Fox 2. Can I talk to you about your uh, business here? Um, at the moment, I come to the hospital. Uh, my daughter's in the hospital. What's going on with the priest? Why did you take the money from the priest and no, not finish that job? No, we're going to be finishing it. Um, we had a, a lot of problems, and um, we are... Uh, and sold them a lot of family issues, a lot of health problems in the family, and I, I have all my incentives to, to pay them back 
him back. Remember, Father Marquis says Daniel blocked him. The, the priest said that you took his money and you've ghosted him since. No, no, because we did, we, we done all the work. We were missing putting the cameras in, and he asked us um, not to put in the, the cameras anymore because he was fed up of, uh, of the delays. So he actually told us not to do it and to stop. We're going to take all the equipment back. All the work that we have done, we're not going to charge him for him. And, um, well, you have his $2,400, right? Yes, of course, yes. That when are you going to give it back to him? Well, I'm hoping maybe the next few weeks. Patron admits he got the certified letter but claims he didn't read it. Sure looks like he's reading it, but just so happens I have a copy for him anyways. You know, he is a priest. Well, you're, you're asking the same questions. It doesn't matter. A priest is a citizen, is a human being like all of us. Uh, everybody should treat, be treated equally. In fact, it's a priest or he's not a priest. That really doesn't matter. Um, that's why. Okay, well, he is a priest, though, so there's not a lot of people that cheat a priest, and you cheated a priest, right? Nobody cheated a priest. At the end of the day, you have as much rights as a priest uh, as if you're not a priest. What's that got to do with it? If you might be a priest, I'm Christian, too. Don't get me wrong. But even if he wasn't a priest, would 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 it be better? No, it's bad either yeah, way. Exactly. So what's the point of bringing that black lady's priest up? Well, because there's not a lot of people that'll cheat a priest. It just seems pretty low. Then you also have a place called Accurate Expediting. You took money from them as well. Here, Daniel, here's my card. So are you going to pay the priest some money back? Because that's a congregation. That, that's money that... Here, here's my card. Daniel... I don't know if you're going to hell, but you are going in the hall. The Hall of Shame. It's a sad commentary that a place like this would even need security cameras, but Father Marquis says they like to leave the sanctuary open during the day so people can come in and pray. We'll keep an eye on the police investigation for you.